dollars for my car, for my bike, for everything. Just a few more dollars, dollars. Here we have it, the axle tubes, swing axle gearbox. Uh, this one's yet to be cleaned up. See the little bit of surface rust in that? I'm decking all that out. And it'll end up... <laughs> I just had a dancing moment there. It was good. Whoa. Uh, and it ends up like... Look at that. Brand spanking. Brand spanking new. Of course, you've got to protect it here. And on the other end... I've protected it with oil already and uh, put that one down. Have a look at this one. See, it's been sitting, it's rusty, but it's got to end up like that one. Sunday morning. Oh, what is it? The 8th of January, and we've got six degrees in Durham here. And it's going to get to eight. So that's not bad. That's really good. And to start the day off, you've got to be fueled. And here we have chips, uh, the hamburger from the other day, cheese, bit of red, uh, bacon, baked beans, eggs, and um, unfortunately, I don't have any black pudding. But I still cope and will really fuel the day up today. We're gonna to crack on and uh, see what we can do in the shoe box out there, okay? Right, we're we'll working on the gearbox still. Uh, got the axle tubes out there, I'm cleaning them up. You've got to have the ends nice and clean. Everything has to be clean. And uh, so, scuffing that. But in the meantime, we're getting the fire going. Burning all the uh, parts, boxes that come in, as well as, you know, a few other bits. And here you can see the front end. Well, <laughs> uh, here, I had it covered up so the weather doesn't get at it. A little, bit, a little bit dirty, but that's just surface dirt and that. See the pedals, uh, master cylinder, all sorts. So be ready to put the, um, the ball joints on soon. And uh, that'll be good because uh, this, this thing, you know, it's got to look like a car one day. So you've got to give yourself hope by putting drums on, brakes on, wheels. You've got to bleed the brakes, do all sorts. So we we'll, we'll keep well busy. Uh, here at the G2. Right, the rebuild keeps going and uh, and, and new parts and everything. But um, uh, when you're rebuilding the car, you want to use as many good parts. Well, this is restoration, so you're restoring what has deteriorated. So um, you put as many good parts as you can and also clean as much as you can if you can you can uh, have a look at this and if you tell me there's any dirt on there just let us know <laughs> so uh, I clean the ax axle tube I've already done one and here's the other one this is the standard that I want right uh, no deviations a lot of times these axle uh, axle tube covers leak is because of um, these plates are only about, oh, I'm not sure, I think they're only two mil thick. If you wind them up really tight and don't torque them, uh, they can bend. And there's uh, examples online of those. So I've made sure that this is all flat. See, hold this. This is all nice and flat. So I've worked on it, cleaned it all up. We don't want it to rust, so we've got to put a bit of oil on it, even in that surface there. And of course, and of course, we're going to put an O-ring on here, and then we're going to put these. 
There's the O-ring, and that O-ring slips into there. You can't forget it. That O-ring goes on there, and then we put all these packers on. Now these these uh, gaskets are actually shims or packers, and so what I have to do is I have to install it on a dry run. I'm not going to put any um, non hardening sealer on it now but I'll put all the packers on the actual tube on and then we're going to see what sort of play we've got and there's end shims to do that and there's shims to do this as well so uh, watch this space Yeah, and of course we've got here what we call the backing plates and now these are the rear uh, I've marked on there what side it come from and it doesn't look in bad condition but heavily pitted now I, I said on a prior tube uh, um, the price of them and they're between 50 and 60 pounds I didn't say that they were each now I'm a restorer so I can restore this just takes a little time. Um, I started this one. It's a late, as I said, it's a labour of love. These are the two rear. Um, hang on. These are the two front, and these are the two rear. I think I, I've got it. I had it the wrong way around before. But uh, I'm, I'm not buying. I'm not buying new ones. I restore those, and of course you've got to get the surfaces on on, on this one uh, flat. You know, flat. This is the most important one to get flat because the seals go on the end of those tubes there. So I hope I've got that the right way around. And to to, to rebuild and get inside the pit marks instead of limishing totally flat, and this then this will end up wafer thin. You don't want it wafer thin. You want to just gouge out the rust. And I just purchased from China uh, some um, what we call burrs. And these ones I bought to go in my little um, uh, little grinder here, and that thickness of that is one eighth of an inch from memory as a tool maker, three point one two five of a millimeter. So those shanks will go straight in there, and then I can uh, I can pickle all that out, and uh, hopefully I can give you an update really soon. All right, what we got here? We've got a few. Um, a few parcels that just come in and I've got one from a company called Mega Bug. Uh, I'm not sure where they're from. Um, uh, they could have been from uh, they could be from Ashford. Uh, oh okay that's that's a clutch lining tool. I don't even know where that's from. Oh, I think that's from GSF. Uh, I'll buy parts from everyone everyone i love everyone so i buy from everyone you know if they give me a good deal all right i love it mate. <laughs> so oh yeah mega bug how do you like that little logo oh there's stickers yeah yeah there's stickers that's mega bug and and in this parcel this is the one oh so yeah so we do that um these are just drain plugs. They're very expensive. They're five pounds each. <laughs> Don't tell the missus, mate. <laughs> uh, they go in your headlights, and so um, they're either dry. I don't think the wires go through. They're just drained. So if any water does get in there, it can drain out, and then the water can't come back in. All right, that's one bit. Then the next one is uh, that's a speedo cable grommet that goes through the body. All right, speedo cable. This is a clutch, uh, a clutch adjusting nut. Uh, see, it's elongated there, thinner there, thinner there, so it sits and it doesn't um, uh, uh, maladjust, right? And this is a uh, a fork, a fork at um, clutch fork bearing kit with spring and seals. So that's a pretty handy one. Now I've just got to find out and go on my computer, you know, like like it's a Commando 64. No, I've got a modern computer and uh, and I've got to have a look where my clutch fork is coming from and mine is an 18 20 mil 
uh, clutch fork and that's the one I previously said I cut it off with a grinder because I couldn't get the clutch arm off well I've painted the clutch arm it's uh, it's right here so I salvaged that and uh, uh, the other clutch arm had a few nicks in it so I thought yeah that's a good way to go hey Here we have it, making a cup of tea. It's, uh, it's not an English breakfast, what do they call it? PG tips. So I give you a tip, all right? Have a brew, mate. Uh, don't wait till you, you're like your camera crew or your videographer or, or your missus to make it. Make it yourself, don't go lazy. And uh, you get it straight away then, hey? <laughs> I can't complain because I had breakfast in bed this morning and I didn't move a muscle. Yeah! <laughs> oh, okay, the camera crew's here, so <laughs> you've got to be ready. So I, I'm going to do this soon this afternoon. Um, and as I said, these paper gaskets are shims. So I'm gonna shim it out properly, not have too much slop, but you don't want it to bind. But you want it nice and tight because when the gear oil gets in there, it'll lube it all up. So uh, also, I yesterday or last night, um, this is the box I made. I found it on the side of the road. Uh, it wasn't the box, but I put it all together. And inside there is my air compressor. Now, we've got neighbors and I don't want to upset them. Yeah, I don't want to upset them, so what we're renovating the house, and there's an old principle is, use what you got. And instead of throwing all the carpet out, I kept, I stashed the carpet, and now I used it, and I've lined this whole box full of carpet, and I've screwed it all on everywhere. See, under here, if you have a look, is the air compressor. And it'll deaden the sound right off. I'll actually switch it on to give you a demo. Okay. So this is to kick it up. Hopefully it's kick in, I haven't kicked any off. There we have it. It's not too noisy. I went to the end of I went to the end of the fence and to uh, to hear it from back down there, mate, it's cut the sound to a quarter. What a win mate. You're guilty. <laughs> 